Hey, I've got a lot of students, and I know that there's a lot, a ton of golfers out there that have a really hard time getting their weight shifted properly. So right after this, I wanna give you a really simple tip that's absolutely foolproof for shifting your weight and getting more power into your golf swing. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve from hititlonger.com. I continue my journey to hit the ball longer and straighter than ever before. I hope to show you how to do that too. If you get some benefit out of this video, I hope you hit like and subscribe. All right, so a very simple tip to guarantee that you make a complete weight shift, both going back and going through, is simply by taking away one of your bases of support. So your feet, two feet, be your bases of support. If you were to kick one out from under you, you'd have to figure out a way to balance with all your weight on the other one. And that's kind of the way this move in the swing works. Very simple move at the ankles. If I can position my foot, one of the, my feet, to be in a position where it simply cannot bear any weight, you're either gonna have two options. Either gonna fall on your ear, crumple to the ground, or you're gonna figure out how to put all your weight into the other leg. So that move is just simply a roll in of the ankles to the inside. You don't have to have flexible ankles for this because you're gonna let the thighs and the knees kinda of go with it. So watch this, if I were to position my left foot completely on the side of my foot like this, this is, this is a, a non-starter. I simply cannot bear weight on this foot. If I were to pick this leg up, I'm gonna go straight down. I cannot support, oh, more than about 15 or 20 pounds on this leg before I just start to crumple because it just simply does not bear weight in that position. Conversely, as most of people out there who have a problem with weight shift, they tend to hit and fall back or go forward and come back or just hang back in general. It's the same thing. You're simply going to make sure that you move your foot into this position here. Even lifting the heel off the ground would even be better. So let me show you that from this angle. In roll of the foot, as far as you can, that is assisted by letting the thigh kind of drive through, through the middle of the stance. Lift the heel off the ground about an inch or two and you'll see that the only part of your foot that's in contact with the ground now is going to be the inside of your big toe. And if you do a little experiment here, here and up, try to pick the other leg up and you'll see you instantly crumple to the ground or you'd fall on your ear. So once you have one foot that is in not any position to bear weight, it's going to force you to stand on the other leg with almost all of your weight. So I might have 190 pounds on my left and 10 pounds on my right. And that is a very, very complete weight shift. Now, how are we gonna practice that? Well, you're gonna practice that slow and easy at first because someone who has been hitting off their back foot forever and ever and chunking it and topping it and doing all kinds of crazy stuff and not getting any power. If you've been doing this for years and years, of course, it's gonna be an enormous change. You don't wanna shank everyone or whiff everyone on the range. So you're just going to, first at home, practice moving over, getting on the side of the big toe so it cannot support body weight. You have to move the weight over. You do some practice swings at home. Very easy. Moving that foot into position. Now you hold the finish and you check the foot. Make sure you're doing it right. Do it in front of a mirror for feedback. Slow and easy. Roll the foot in, lift the heel. And voila, instant weight shift. Then when you go to the range, it's okay to just take out a nine iron and just pitch the ball, hold the finish, 
till the ball lands, that's about four or five seconds, and then check to see that your right foot, in this case, is not in a position to bear weight. And it's not, which means I've moved all the weight onto my left foot and voila, guaranteed weight shift. You could also do the same thing if you wanted a more complete weight shift on the backswing. You would simply add a little bit of that move going back, get on the side of the foot, lift the heel, and I've got a nice complete weight shift to my rear foot there. So slow and easy first, lots of dry swings without the ball. Um, hold the finish till the ball lands, and shortly you're going to start getting much better than this. Your friends are not going to recognize you because you're going to hit the ball so much farther with so much less effort because of your newfound nice complete weight shift. Hey, I hope this tip help some of you out there. I'm Steve from hititlonger.com. I hope you'll go over and visit my site for over 100 more articles and videos that I think are going to help you improve your golf game. If I don't see you in the next video, I hope I see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.